Hello, I'm Jack Thomas, the lead reliability engineer here at PGM. So here we have four curves based on the typical seasons. We have a winter curve, summer curve, spring curve, and a fall curve. Here's a typical winter curve. Just to go over some terminology I'll be using. This is called a pickup. This is called a drop off. This is a peak. And this is a valley. We have the hours of the day, starting with midnight, going to midnight, and these are megawatts. To put megawatts in perspective, an average house uses about 11,000 kilowatts per year, which breaks down to about 30 kilowatts per day. To get that into megawatts, that would be 0 0.03 megawatts used per day. That's how much you would use a whole day. So now we'll take a closer look at the winter curve. So you can see for about 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning, the load goes up very drastically. And if you think about it, that makes sense. Because around 5 o'clock, everybody's getting up to get ready to start their day. And when you get up on those cold winter mornings, one of the first things you do is you turn the heat all the way up because nobody likes getting ready in a cold house. You're turning the lights on, getting the coffee maker going. So multiply that by all the millions of customers that PJM serves and all the businesses and schools getting ready for the day. We have this huge electric load pickup. You can see from 8 o'clock to about 5 o'clock, the load starts tapering off. From 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock, people are coming home. They're coming home, turning your heat back up, turning your lights on, and you're getting ready to make dinner. So that's why, all again, with all the millions of people PGM serves, that's why your load goes back up this time frame. After 8 o'clock, People are kind of settling down, maybe getting together in one room, watching TV for a little family time for about an hour or so. So then you see around 9 o'clock at night, the load starts dropping off as people start going to bed for the night. And turning their heat back down, lights are going back off. And here's the summer curve. You can tell the difference from the winter curve to the summer curve. The summer curve goes up gradually over the whole day. This is mainly due to the temperature and humidity going up throughout the day. As the temperature goes up, we end up peaking about four or five o'clock because that's usually the hottest part and most humid part of the day. So after 8 p.m., the load starts dropping off and that's because the sun goes down, so the temperature goes down and humidity normally goes down. On those very humid nights, the load won't drop off as much because more and more people are keeping their air conditioners running throughout the night. The spring curve and fall curves, they're very similar. They're basically hybrids of the winter and the summer curves. So during the spring and the fall, you can see the pickups are a little bit steeper. And that's because it's normally chilly still in the morning, so more and more heat is staying on. The temperatures throughout the day don't change that often, so the load remains basically pretty steady. PJM is a summer peaking company. So as you can see from the winter curve, typically we peak around 100,000 megawatts. The spring and the fall, around 90,000 for the fall, 80,000 for the spring. The summer, we're up around 120,000 megawatts. And this is mainly due to the air conditioning load served by our territory.